Hello. In this video, we're going to demonstrate the ability to pull data from a PDF or, or a data sheet into a footprint in order to uh, verify that a footprint is correct. Um, here we have a, a surface mount USB type connector. Um, and to pull in the data from the data sheet, we'll go up here to Tools and Import Data from PDF, which will bring us this screen. We will go to File in the top left corner and then the same again to and you can browse to any data sheet and then you can uh, scroll around each page as well as use these buttons to select a different page and we will scroll over here to our recommended layout pattern and we'll use the copy area option to select just that recommended layout and once we do that, it populates on that previous screen, so we can go ahead and close that window. Um, so next we want to auto-center um, the data from the PDF to the data that's already in the footprint that we have. We'll also want to select a layer to place this data on. We'll, for this example, we'll put it on the ghost layer, and then select copy all shapes to layer, and then click done. Um, once we've done that, we'll be given an option to scale the data that we're bringing from that data sheet we'll just go ahead and leave it at one to one and select OK and you can see the uh, data from that data sheet uh, the, all those lines and everything has been imported um, next we'll want to make sure that it's scaled correctly um, and then move it into a better position to compare it to our footprint um, to do this we'll go to the display and adjust our view settings so that all we see is the data on the ghost layer um, so we'll select all layers off and then turn on only the ghost layer so now we can see just that data we brought in from the data sheet and we'll want to select everything um, on this just on this layer um, and before we scale we want to make sure that our snap is turned on under the grid settings um, and then we'll go to tools and scale by measure um, from here we want to measure between two points um, of this data where we know the distance so uh, for example the end of this line to the end of this line we know is 6.9 millimeters so under the should measure option we'll put 6.9 millimeters and click OK and it scales the data uh, it's kinda hard to tell there 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 wasn't much scaling that was needed um, but it did scale the data um, so we'll go ahead and reselect all this data on the ghost layer and we will reload our view settings uh, from just our default view and we'll turn the ref uh, off and apply and now we can see our footprint again um, as well as the selected data from the uh, data sheet now before we start dragging it around to line everything up we might want to turn our snap back off so that it's not so it lets us drag everything a little bit smoother um, so from here we can drag it right over our footprint and make sure that everything lines up with the pads and within the place bound and pretty much verify that the footprint is correct um, so that just demonstrates the ability to do that and hopefully this video was helpful and we'll see you next time thanks